Uh, let's go to our next story. You know, maybe it's true after all that politics is the art of looking for trouble, finding it whether it exists or not, everywhere. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, has responded to an appeal by his People's Democratic Party PDP counterpart, Atiku Abubakar, to join in the legal battle challenging President Bola Tinubu's credentials. He, Obi says, is not focused on reclaiming, is focused rather on reclaiming his stolen mandate at the Supreme Court, not Tinubu's certificate. Uh, Tunde, stolen mandate. Was it given a mandate? Well, that, well, that, that, it's well, a, well, you see, a pertinent uh, question it, it, here. It is unfortunate, ask. but it's a statement of uh, fact that Nigerian politicians, are, I will call them unrepentant optimists. Mm. Because against the run of the law, you, he, he, Obi did not ap approach the tribunal stating that he scored 8 million votes, probably 2 million above the person. He never told the tribunal the amount of votes he scored. That will have, because the essence of law is to prove beyond all shadow of doubt. doubt. But he never told anybody the figure he got and the, the supposed figure that was deducted from his number to show that he was actually robbed, that the, the mandate was actually told to, to the or that the figure he got that was added to the person, the president, mm. Tinubu, to show that Tinubu stole part of his vote and added to it. Throughout the duration of that trial, nobody mentioned that. So I keep on wondering what, where he got the stolen, where the stolen mandate, where it was stolen from. Mm. I don't know where the mandate was stolen from in the first instance. So he never, and the owners of law is like the chief judge said yesterday, he said that this time around, we are going to use the constitution. We are not going to use, uh, judgment is no longer going to be based on emotions yeah. of the people mm. or public opinion, mm. but the law. And law says that you must prove beyond all shadow of doubt. doubt. So the, 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 the tribunal, the Supreme Court, they are going to act based on the evidence that has been submitted at the Court of Appeal. Yeah. Not okay. any other figure. Like I said, uh, Peter Obi was unable to convince or tell Nigerians how much food he got that is beyond what he got. He was unable to tell. So you don't know where the stolen foods are or how many votes were actually stolen. Okay. But that is the onus that he has to tell Nigerians that it was a stolen mandate. Okay. So, but Jide uh, uh, is, at, is at the apex court, and so we allow the court to do his job. Yeah, well, good luck to him. Um, we didn't stop the uh, appeal court from doing his job, and the appeal court um, returned a comprehensive verdict after more than 10 hours. Um, and the verdict of the appeal court is that Obi did not win the election. Mm. It, it will be, in my view, having not even, because you can score a few millions uh, of votes, but there is a route to the presidency. And the clearest route to the presidency is to have 25% in 24 it's states. Positive. He didn't even have 25 percent in up to 20 states. So, if you didn't have up to 20 states, and they're asking for 24, so you have no route to the presidency. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. We, the results are there. I think that Obi shocked people by his performance. He did well. You must give it to him. Mm. You know, he did well. There were some conditions that enabled him to score those votes. Many people were not happy that Ashwaju didn't pick a Christian as his deputy. Ashwaju did what Abiola did back in 1993. Uh, it is extremely tough, if not impossible, for a Muslim from the south of Nigeria to become president, a Muslim presidential candidate to become president unless he finds a running mate from a majority tribe. This is the and you and I know that the majority tribe in northern Nigeria the is very, very likely going to be a Muslim. There are Hausa Fulani Christians, mm. but there are very few. Yeah. There are very, very few. 
and a good number of them are not even um, politically inclined. Sorry, and yeah. Yes, mm. you know. But the ones who play politics, the ones uh, that are prominent from the majority tribe over there, they are, they, are, they are Muslims. Yeah. You know? So you can choose to pick a Kanuri person or pick a Hausa Fulani person. Those are majority tribes from the north of Nigeria. Kanuri, as majority tribe, over there in the uh, northeast. <laughs> northeast. The Hausa Fulani, majority tribe in the northwest, in uh, some parts of uh, northeast. They are in the northeast as well, in Adama. Uh, they, they, they are also even in uh, Bono State, in a local government called Bayou. You will find Hausa Fulani people. But the point that I'm making is you can't pick, you can't, as a Muslim, go and pick another another minority from the north because those Christians are largely minority from the north. So that was the calculation. And it was the same calculation that Abiola made when he picked Ambassador Kingibe mm. from the northeast. So it was like, like um, it was deja vu because it's also from the northeast that Abiola picked Kashim Shetima yeah. from the same Kanuri mm. Uh, mm. Uh, tribe. So that was his own calculation. But he got many people angry. They felt it was insensitive of him. Well, the man was interested in winning the election. And if he lost the election, the people who are mocking him, who are composing songs, believing that he would not even win in the first place. That's the same way they, they would have been mocking him that you see, he thought he could win. He didn't win. This is a man intensely hated by some individuals in our country. So he thought that the best thing he could do was to pick from a minority, a majority tribe. And he did that, you know? So, and that was what helped him to win that election. Against, he, against the run of play, in a manner of speaking? No. It no, was the... When I say the run when, of play... When you say run of play, that means that it was not expected a, to against win. Against expectations. That, because of the That's what I mean. Okay. You know. Because he, from the beginning, he was the candidate to beat. He had far more governors than other yeah. uh, candidates. But and I, I personally was surprised because I never knew he had gone far, you know, uh, because... No, well, he started uh, how, the race before that. Well, they, are, they, 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 they say a politician is a politician is a politician. So they come in shades and sizes and uh, scopes. So I never know. I, never I think that it. you see the thing, his calculation was quite right. In picking a Muslim, he, he convinced elements in the far north that, look, I have one of you on the ballot. Okay. I've not picked a Christian my, uh, from the minority. I have one of you, and a good number of them decided to vote for him. Ashwa just called more votes in northern Nigeria than Atiku. Yes. Mm. He defeated Atiku in the northwest, which is the base. Yeah. Where, this is where you have the uh, Elsa Flani and all that. So he scored more votes in the northwest overall, even though he won just two states in the northwest. But he scored more votes than Atiku because in Kano, he led Atiku with more than 400,000 votes. That was crucial. And in places like Sokoto, he lost, but he lost narrowly. In, um, in Kebi, he lost, but he lost narrowly. You know? So at the but, end of the day. He got his 25%. Huh? Still got it, the percentage. Of course, he got more than was required. He mm. got more states. He got 25% in more states than the law required. So that is the person who won the election. Some people believe that some of us we are there uh, to make them happy by the things that we say. No. After all these years, I cannot go against my conscience, go against my beliefs to make you happy. No. Mm. After all, facts we say are sacred. It would be very stupid of me to say that. Looking at the way the election panned out, I could analyze it because I expected some of the things that happened. 
some of the states that people didn't expect him to win, I predicted yeah, that he will win in this state, and he won. Some of my friends, and we are, I said PDP will win in some states. Some of my friends in the APC, they fought me. But at the end of the day, what I told them was, what happened? I told them Ashiwaju will not win Sokoto. I told them Ashiwaju will not win Kebi. They said, ah, no, 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 how can you say we won't win Kebi? We have a, a governor from APC in, uh, in, uh, in Kebi State. Mm. It's not by emotions. It's about calculations. What do you think will happen? What do you think? Mm. That's it. So, so, so Obi is saying he wants to reclaim a stolen on the line that <laughs> mandate. Good luck to him. He said much more than that before the mm. um, the appeal uh, the appeal court's verdict, before the presidential elections court's verdict. He said much more than that, and his supporters said much more than that. They called some of us names. But time is a gentleman, as I always say. Time is a gentleman. Mm. Time resolves things, resolves issues. We shall see whether that, there, time, whether time whether a mandate was stolen. All right. The court will show to us whether a mandate was stolen or not. And if it, it was stolen, who stole it? Okay. Was it Atiku who came second? Or <laughs> because he has to tell us where his votes were pilfered. Did Atiku take some of your votes? Did Tinobu take some of your votes? Okay. How many? How, how many votes did they take? You didn't even give us your own alternative resource sheet mm. across the nation. To show us that indeed this man knows what he's doing. And that was what the man in Nasarawa did. All right. The, even the court paid tribute to him that he had resort polling unit by, by polling, polling unit. unit. And he explained. All right. Uh, uh, Jide, you just talked about time. It's time to go commercial. Let's make some money.